So I just recently purchased the Canon EOS R50. Now I was torn between getting the Canon M50 and the R50, and I was gonna be using this for all content creation purposes, whether it be photography, but also video and also for streaming. So I knew with the next level capability that the R50 had, I was willing to shell out the few extra hundred dollars to get it. Now for everything else, for I've already tested it out for video, I've tested it out for photography. The only thing that I haven't done yet is for live streaming. I knew I needed a micro HDMI to HDMI cable. And once I started setting it up, I realized that with the, the device being only a few months old, there was wasn't much of a tutorial out there as to how to set this thing up for live streaming. So with a little bit of trial and error, I was able to set this up. I, I mostly stream video game content, but if you're if you found this helpful, then at least a like on the video is helpful. And I'll make sure that I link my micro HDMI cable and also my capture card. So this is a micro HDMI cord that is gonna go into the side of the camera itself. And then you are going to plug the USB side of a capture card into your computer itself. I got a 4K HD uh, capture card up to 60 frames. That's going into the end slot. I've definitely played around with that and gotten that wrong. And then once you are ready to pick which input, say if you're gonna do something like OBS for streaming, then you go to your video capture device and it is going to show up as your USB video. Now, if you further want to play with that, you can go down below to configure video and there's that. You can play with your white balance, your brightness. So after you've done all that, you are going to go to the wrench on your menu and go down to power saving. You're going to go down to screen off. From screen off, you're going to turn that to disable. Then you're also going to go to auto power off and turn that to disable. If you don't do that for either one of those, then your screen and your video will turn off mid video once it times out. Now to get the clean HDMI output, you're gonna to go to the camera and you're gonna to go to tab six where HDMI display is. You're gonna select the setting where it shows the camera and the screen and there is your face on the video. So that's how you set it up and that's the parts that you need to set it up. Hopefully you think that's helpful. The one thing that you may have noticed throughout the video itself is that there is a flicker down at the bottom of the screen. And I'm sure with some, some time and some toying around with it, that's something that we can fix. I've just literally been using it for an hour at this point. So hopefully that was helpful to you. If it was, if you could leave a like, I would appreciate it and have a great day guys.